Uh, Elaine Vigneau today, yes. 62 years old. Yes. He has told uh, reporters uh, back east that he's retiring from coaching. Yeah. Let go by the Flyers. Uh, on December or in December of 2021, he hasn't worked uh, since then. Getting paid through June 2024. So as you know, if you tune into the show long enough, <laughs> El- Elaine Vigneault is on my list of idols. Yeah, a, a person who is benefiting from a buyout. And at 62, he says, "That's it. I- I'm done." I wonder if if he'll reconsider that if he gets a decent offer. It's it's in it's in his blood. No, I don't know what his family situation is right now. That obviously plays. Uh, well, a big part, health and, and all that. But, you know, he's collecting a paycheck till June uh, 2024, well, and, you know, cl- getting close to retirement age for most people. You can, you can understand Don, why. Donnie, I think what might be a play here, there's been a ton of coaching uh, vacancies in the NHL in the past few weeks. He probably hadn't got a call. So he's probably saying, you know what, it's time to head out uh, – in, in retirement, or, or may, we don't know. Maybe he did get a call, and he just he just doesn't feel like it right now. Yeah, I've got uh, Vigneault uh, as my second best coach. Yeah, behind Jackson. Travis Green. Stop it! Not Travis Green isn't in there, Don. I've got Pat Quinn as my uh, best Canuck coach, and when he came here from L.A. and turned things around, for me, Pat will always be Quinn Gate. Quingate and Arthur Griffiths, they got him out of L.A. There was a lot of red tape. But Pat Quinn, when he turned it around, because we had so many awful years in the 80s, Don, uh, 8,000 at the Coliseum, it was a tough time. Pat, Pat Quinn came here, he turned it around. Pat's going to be always my best coach in Canucks history, but I've got to land right there after Pat. Uh, Elaine is the uh, winningest head coach yes, of all time. Yes, he is. Seven in, in years. Good seven years. Seven years, 313 uh, victories. He's also number one. And this is, we had somebody come up with a submission into the Delaney's OK Tyron Langley inbox. And I can't remember who it was, but it was a great point. And, and the point was when we talk about all-time greats, whether it's somebody on the yeah. ice or behind the bench, uh, in the front office, we always talk about their regular season records. Yeah. But but let's not forget, too, that Alain Vigneault, number one in the regular season in terms of wins and games coached, yeah. same thing with the playoffs. That's he right. Had, he had 60, uh, 33 wins in the in the playoffs, 68 games coached in the playoffs. He got his Vancouver teams into the playoffs with a couple of uh, exceptions. So we forget about that. There was playoff success with uh, uh, Alain Vigneault. Some disappointment there as well. You know, I I get that, but uh, success in the playoffs led by what happened in in, in twenty eleven. Yeah, and you don't he, you didn't hear stuff like uh, structure issues. You didn't hear stuff. This was a solid coach who back to back presidents trophies, game seven Stanley Cup finals, fifty times or three times he won fifty or more games. Donny just came here from Manitoba, replaced Mark Crawford, did a damn good job. There was no bitching and complaining about a land. He was just a very, very solid coach. He had help from his general managers, Dave Nonis at first, and then Mike Gillis. They provided him uh, with a lot of talent. I didn't realize this until I read up on Elaine today, but he won the Jack Adams Award in 2007. And uh, at the uh, award ceremony, he went out of his way to thank Roberto Luongo. Luongo had several great seasons with the Canucks. I don't think there was any better than his very first season, and Elaine Vigneault let him know about it that, that night. It was really, really classy. The other thing with uh, Elaine Vigneault that I found out today is uh, that he holds the record uh, of five in terms of being an Adams Award finalist. And the strange part there is that, I don't mean to laugh at this if you're listening out there, Elaine, but he, he was an Adams Award finalist in, in 2020. A couple months later, he got That's fired. It. He got fired. Yeah. He got absolutely. But f- five times Adams Award uh, a finalist. And I know that has a lot to do with talent and who your GM uh, is and how well the organization uh, is run. But pretty pretty, pretty impressive that he, five times he was an Adams finalist. Donnie, the Canucks had a stretch with Crawford and Vigneault. 14 years were just solid. Solid coaching, solid management. Everything was good. Uh, good teams. And now they've had three coaches in the last two and a half years, Don. It's ridiculous, you know, but that stability that Crawford and Vigneault gave Vancouver was a very good time.